Hey, hey, you guys. Thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. We've got Chewy here, and he's actually a Havanese. And I know I've gotten so many requests to groom a Havanese, and y'all must be really praying for a Havanese up in here because we got one. And he's a puppy. And it's going to be an interesting groom because this is his first groom, but we have a lot to do because he has a lot of hair and they want a very short haircut, okay? He's bringing in a lot of weeds and stuff like that, they said. And, um... As a puppy, he's going to move around a lot, so we'll see how it goes. And he's a uh, excitement peer, so I know he's kind of messy and s it's funky, okay? So we're going to get him cleaned up real good. Hi. Hi, Chewy. Hi, Chewy. So I'm really glad this is our first groom. Very sweet animal, but we'll see how the clippers and everything work out for us, okay? We're running a little bit behind. So we better get to it, huh? We better get to it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. You're so pretty. Okay, let's go. They want a short haircut, so we're gonna work with, uh, you know, my favorite guards. We'll probably do a, <laughs> look at him, two guard first and see how we're looking. Well, I'm, I'm gonna first clean up is, uh, I'm gonna do a, sanitary here if you own a puppy I'm not digging going to the skin yet I am gonna make it up there but taking it easy so I can see everything <laughs> okay he doesn't like his feet held together I'm gonna clean all this, gonna tunnel all this out so that the urine doesn't, you know, as a puppy. And then real close here, if you have a boy dog and you've got this hair that grows straight out down here, if you can, it can't even see it here. No, he's not trying, no, don't nibble, no, no. That hair there, don't let it get that long, man. Scissor that off, it's just holding all the urine right up against the skin and it caused cause the bacteria to just sit there and yeah you want to trim that off be careful obviously but keep it low i see that a lot okay let's go back to our normal position here he's got a little bit of room to move i kind of don't like that so we're gonna bring him why is this so tight Why did everything have to be so tight? Okay. I'm going to do a sanitary back here. Okay, we're going to come down and do our two guard now. We might do four guards, and they, they pretty much made it, she made it clear, you know, a little bit more than half off. Low maintenance, summer's coming in, so. I don't know if I like that yet or not. I'm gonna just play with it some more. So anybody who's looking at the Havanese grooming, you guys should be looking at all the Shih Tzu grooms. This is very, very, it's the same thing. You do the same haircut on just the, the type of dog that you have. You just follow some of the other YouTube videos. Cause this is, there's nothing different here. Uh, maybe if, if he was older, we would do something different, but.
that's not what we want. See, we can't do that for Grimlin. We can't, we cannot just have him a free for all here. It's dangerous. Okay, hold on here. Hold the jawbone there. Down, put your foot down. We need to be brushing on a table at home. I think that will very much help him get used to the process. Moving around, dancing on the table can be very dangerous, so we need to get nip that in the bud now. But it's not something I can fix in one hour here. I'm always saying that, aren't I? Your groomer cannot fix that what's happening right there. We got to all work together to make it happen. I do feel like there's brushing happening. It just needs to happen like while he's on a table or in a fashion where he understands it's not, not about moving around and dancing, you know? So he is fixed so I can kind of take my guard straight back. Doing the two everywhere. I'm gonna come back and do a four down the legs, I think. Four there too, so don't waste too much time in the wrong areas. Kind of doing some petting there. Kind of tricking him a little bit so he's not worried so much. There's definitely brushing being done because the, the comb on the guard comb can actually go through the hair really nice, you know? So that's great. Good job, Mom and Dad, on brushing. Okay, okay. I don't need you to do that. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Stay there. I know. I know it. Isn't that such an interesting noise? I know. I know. Okay, come out and change your guard and do a four guard. down man
The wrong way. No, no. I know, it's all new, isn't it? because I've never groomed him before. Make sure there's no rear dew claws, which are interesting. And there's actually no front dew claws either. Yeah, look forward. Look forward. Look forward. Yeah, look forward. I know it. Who did that? Who did it? I have no idea who did that. I have no idea, man. Let me see. I can't see anything. No, I can't. Ah, 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 Chewy. Pay attention now. Is serious. Yeah, there we go. Good boy. See, that's how it should be. If you're quicking dogs, they, they're going to freak out. And this is, it's, there's no quicking, so it's awesome. No quicking the animal's nails will make a huge difference. I'm going to throw these. Let's see here. on the head. Actually, I'm going to try four down. I'm going to try four down. Just going that way. Hi, baby. Hi. I know. Who did all those things? I don't see her. That's not going to work. And then you have your back up. This might not work out today. It might be too much, but we'll see. Focus. I need you to focus. Focus. Yeah, look at that. What's going on over there? Yeah, you're not going to like that. Okay, we're going to do the head later another time. Um, it's going to be too much. I mean, the clipper head stuff. We're going to fade that in. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get what I can like this first. 
A lot of eye boogers in here, so we're going to do a, a briefing on mom with the flea comb. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what you got going on here. Can't even see her. Don't do any jerking, man. Don't do any jerking. What's that? What's that? What is that? Yeah, what is that? Don't do any jerking, dude. It's scary. Stop. Stop. Shh. Shh. See how scary that can be? No. 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 It's scary. We're not going to do the full head today. He's doing too much crazy whipping. No, no, no. What is it regarding? Okay. I just sent an email, babe. You, you were sitting there with us. I need to pay. Use Macy's. Okay, every now and then you get a puppy and their first grooming experience is gonna be wild anyway and you're doing a lot of hair cutting and stuff. So in this situation, the screaming and all that stuff, we're not gonna push it. I call it, we're not gonna push it. And he won't be getting a blow dry today. And this is kind of what I anticipated, remember, which is, I said he, we may or may not be able to do that. So today we won't be doing that, but we're gonna do some uh, different things at home that I'll tell the par parent to do to help us um, get used to the the blow dryer. It may or may not work, but we'll see you next time around. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll finish as a groom up here in a minute. All right, here we go. He's gonna go home a little damp today because he was doing a lot of yelling, and the blow dryer was barely even, you know, on. Oh, shoot, Sandra, I dropped mine too. Okay, uh, so I did a little leave-in conditioner. I'm going to brush him real good here. He's going to go home a little damp, but that's just, you got to make a call sometimes, and that's the call I'm making today, just based off of his behavior. He's such a sweet little baby, I don't want to push it over the edge. I know, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't cry. Don't cry, no. Don't cry. we got so much to do. Yeah, I know, we got so much to do. Yeah, I know. Hi. You licking my hair? Are you licking my hair? Yeah. Yeah. He has so much to do. He has so much to do. Yeah. Chewy. Chewy. Come here. Come here. Come close. Come get close to me. Get close to me. Okay. Okay. Let's see back here. I know, you smell so much better. You smell so much better, man. Yeah, you just smell so much better. Those kisses, you know what kisses are. Yeah, you give lots of kisses, you're so sweet. You're so sweet, who did it? I don't know who did it to you. I don't know who did it, man, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, yeah. That bath, that stupid water, man. Yeah, I know, who, who made water anyway? I don't know, man. I don't know how to help you on that. We gotta wash you, though, and get you all cleaned up. Okay, come here. We gotta brush your chin. We gotta brush your chin. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me get in there. Come here. I don't want to force it. Come on. Yeah, I don't want to force it. We gotta get the chin brushed. Look here. Okay, let me get something here. What's that? Come here. Focus on something else. Smell, smell. Well, oh, well, that's not gonna help me, is it? We gotta brush your chin. I know you don't like it. Look at this. I know. Who did it? Yeah, who 
did that. Very good. Hmm, who did it? Who did that noise, man? I know you don't want me to brush your face. So this, if you want a squeaky toy, just order one of the squeaky toys that we have. Take it out of it. I think we have a couple of the dollar ones still left. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You're going to use a squeaky out of it, okay? I know, right? We did it to you. Okay. So helpful in taking pictures, and it's so helpful in just that situation like right now, what we're going through, okay? how far we want to take it so we need to be brushing at home in a uh, controlled environment so that he uh, will appreciate it when we when he comes in here okay so let me see here let me see I know right we can't have all the moving around and stuff it makes it quite dangerous David make some noise for me Who's that? Who did that? Who did that? Who did it? Did that? Who's that? Who is that? I don't know what that hair is doing right there, but let's check it out. Thank you. It's got a little curl in it. That's why I'm going to kind of leave it. And sort of. I'm going to cut that right off. No. No. Hold the... Uh, uh, put your foot down. Uh, 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 uh. Focus on something else. No. No. Not on my scissors. No. you got to have control here. You can really hurt somebody. Here, stop. Uh, no. Hold the jawbone. No. Definitely gonna have mom do the, the jawbone holding for me. I'm actually not gonna try to shave down the nose. Me 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 me. Yeah. Me 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 me. Man, I gotta create all this weird stuff to make this whole thing work together, don't I? Every dog is so different too. If you've been watching me for like five years, you know I create like I don't know. I come up with these ideas on the spot. Yeah, that one's really working for him. Yeah, who's making that noise, man? Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, you're like responding to that really well. Boop, 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 boop. Good baby. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I did that. I made that noise. Yes, I did. Can you guys see all that work I'm doing here? Chewy, Chewy, who's that, Chewy? Look out! Look out the door! Look at the door! Look at the door! Look at the door! Look at the door! Yeah, I know. What are you telling me, man? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I feel ya. I don't know, man. Yeah, I know. We're almost done. Okay. Yeah, hold on here. We're almost done. So, you know, things don't have to be perfect when you're grooming a puppy and when you're grooming a very wild, rambunctious animal. So, And actually, nothing in life is perfect if you look at it like that. If you look at life, nothing is perfect. Okay, okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. All done. Yeah, all done. 
Okay. All right. What do y'all think, man? You guys, are you happy? Are you happy? We're doing Island Breeze today. Do a little bit of that. So we did, uh-uh, stay there. Okay, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Look at his face come popping out. Right here. Chewy. Chewy. So cute. So cute. Okay. All right, so we got a have an East groom in, and are all puppies all the ones jumping on my back and stuff? He did pretty good, didn't he? Yeah, he kind of moves around a lot. Didn't like the blow dryer, but we're going to work on little stuff like that, right? Let me see. Let me bring it down. Yeah, I know you're the cute one. Yes, you are. You're the cute one. You're the cute one, man. Man, you smell so good. Oh, I know. So it's the combination of shampoo, conditioner, and the leave-in conditioner, and the smell, the cologne. It's a combo So that makes everything come together. You don't need to get everything, at least not right away. You can add, you can start one package, you can start one conditioner, one shampoo, and just build to what you want it to be. And then once you have it, you're good to go. You just know you're doing your refills. So keep that in mind. Um, I know some of you guys were asking that question, you guys and girls. Okay, thanks for watching Didi Korea on YouTube, and we gotta have a nice puppy in, and we'll just see him unfold with us. So thanks for watching, and I appreciate you, and thank you for all your orders. Woo! Woo! We're doing so great with our orders, and because of you guys watching me, learning from me, and you giving me that business because you're learning everything from me, that means so the, just the world to me. Um, I can't not say thank you enough how exciting it is to be growing at the rate we are. And yep, yeah, you're right. Uh, we should focus on 100,000, but wishful thinking, you want to know where you want to go. So if you want to if you want to create a difference, aim for a million. So aim for a million with me. We want 1 million subscribers. Share, share, share. Share with your friends and family. It, everything goes uh, in a circle and it, and it meets back up. So it comes full circle. If you do good, it, it will it will come back to you. And I, I just want to thank you so much for watching us and supporting us. We'll see you later. Sorry, buddy. Hang in there. Hold on.
Don't get mad. No, no, no. Okay, hold on, buddy. Chewy. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Steady. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Hey guys, thanks for watching Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. So the first thing I want to recap is the Havanese. I talked to mom after we got done and she's like, no, I don't brush them at all. So I was like, whoa, you know, I can't believe the coat didn't come in matted. Um, wow. So I told her, well, we need to be get on the brushing routine and we need to do it regularly. I always told her uh, daily, 10 minutes a day, brushing regularly. We ended up doing what you saw, excuse me, last minute was a set. So she's like, oh, I want it shorter than that. And I was like, oh crap, you know, I need to hurry up now because I got an aggressive client walking in. So I wrapped up the seven all over real fast. Uh, I wish I'd have known first because I mean, we did two overall haircuts and it's a puppy. So, but you want, as a groomer, you want to fix it right then. You don't want them coming back in a week. You want them just, you want them walking out happy with the haircut. Does that make sense? So fixing it right now, I was like, oh gosh, we need to stop chit chatting. We need to fix this now. I got to next appointment coming in. So wrapped that up and you saw me just take that down, no chit chat, just get it work, get the work done. And um, there you go. So she doesn't brush at home yet. She needs to get on a regular maintenance of brushing, not because mostly of the brushing necessarily, but the movement of the animal over and over is very dangerous to him and to the groomer. So we wanna kick that in the butt now because he's very young. So she's gonna work on that hopefully. Thanks for watching Didi Croy with My Favorite Groomer. If you want some of the tools that are on that video that we were doing, please go to myfavoritegroomer.com, click on shop, or go to myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. And you'll be able to see the tools and uh, equipment I use, the shampoos, conditioners, our spray bottles, things like that that I love to use and it helps us be successful. Uh, we get um, kickbacks from the ads you watch on our show and we will also get kickbacks obviously as a business. So we do um, get kickbacks when you support us by buying merchandise through us. And then you know a lot of your questions and um, a lot of you emailing me to build your orders and stuff like that based off of your exact situation. You gotta know you know I am a, a price chopper just like you. I'm running a business so every dollar counts. I've got overhead left and right whether it's a mobile grooming trailer, truck and everything that comes with that price and the overhead of the building. So there's a reason we are in business and we do have to pay our bills. Okay. So when you look at stuff out there, I've looked at it already before you. So, and actually like for instance, some of the clippers that you can find on some of the online stores, we've ordered them and demoed them and ordered them and looked at the box and, and decided, is this real? You know, is this really what it says it is? Is this the motor speed that this clipper is? Why is it this cheap? And I can tell you, I've done the research and that's why I carry what I use and I sell it. And then there's, if you're Oster or an Andis person, you're going to see, I'm going to carry some stuff that I know you guys would use out there, but that's why I carry some of the stuff that I don't have an Oster pair of clippers that are hanging on my board because I, I've been using Andis for so long. It doesn't mean Oster's not good or bad. It means that we've just been trained on different equipment, right? And you usually stick with what you've trained in because your hands memorize that tool. So there's a reason why I sell the stuff I sell. I've done a lot of research and tried a lot of things. And as you know, I know many of you know, and you can you can comment below. I've helped you. I've saved you money. Um, you you can't go cheap, cheap with certain tools. You can go used. You can go 
um, second hand, you can go, Dee Dee, I just want a few tools, um, but you want the right tools. So you that are shopping everywhere and getting really, really cheap stuff, you're going to find it's going to catch up. You're going to, it's going to rust faster. It's going to break easier. It's going to bend a little bit because it's not true thick metal. So just know I have done so much research to kind of bring you the best rate and then I bundle things so that I can give you, get you everything you need in a kit. So when you are building your order, that's why. Uh, go and look at everything I have. They're singular and then they're kits to save you money and expensive shipping. So thank you so much for supporting us. You know who you are. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.